So, how's it going everyone? My name is Elias and welcome back to another tutorial in which I'll be showing you how to use text mod to load up your favorite mods into Dead Space 1, 2 and 3. Keep in mind, this won't work for the remake because text mod only works exclusively to games that runs DirectX 9 versions such as the Dead Space Trilogy, Mass Effect Trilogy, another ones from the Legendary version, Tomb Raider and other games. And also another thing to take in consideration is that this will only work for the Steam version so if you're running Dead Space through Xbox Game Pass or EA app the chances are quite high that this won't work because I did try it out many 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 times to see if I could cheat the launcher into detecting text mod being the game launcher so to speak but to no avail so yeah you're gonna need to have the steam version although it's kind of interesting that Dead 3 does work but only to load up mods so you cannot use the login mode to extract textures by yourself in order to make new mods but yeah for some unknown reason it does work and it does require EA app to run the games but being steam the one that has the most priority level to run the game then it just bypasses that mm, limitation so so to speak but well it is what it is all right that's enough for the intro let's get on with it with the tutorial shall we all right so to start with we're gonna need to download text mod in which the link will be in the video description and also another fun fact about this website in particular you can also find the mouse fix for Despite 2008 version to reduce drastically the insane mouse speed inputs and have a controllable experience except on the section in which you need to walk on corruption that's where the fix it's literally ignored by the games, but well, the more you know. Once we got the text mod downloaded, the next step will be to copy the file and head to your game folder in which you can access by going to your Steam library and right click any Dead Space game and then head to manage and browse local files. Inside the game folder, you paste the text mod and make a copy or rename the .x file of the game to whatever name you want. Me, personally, I'm going to rename it to deadspaceog.x. Now, you can rename the textmod.x to deadspace.x and once you're done, head back to Steam Library, select the deadspace game and press play. You'll notice that instead of the game, it will now open the textmod and now we can rename it back to textmod.x as we'll rename the real deadspace.x to its original name. Now that we have everything to default values when it comes to the names, we head back to textmod and we're gonna select the right game executable and we're gonna load a few mods that we downloaded earlier and run the game. Keep in mind, uh, what I'm going to tell you right now is going to be very important, so if you're gonna download lots of mods and you're just gonna load one or two, most because it affects uh, certain textures such as lightnings or regular designs, whatever, once you're done with the testing and you close the game, under no circumstances close the textmod.x in case you want to test out new mods on the same session but if not well next time you're just gonna need to redo the same steps as earlier all right so that would be pretty much it like uh, up next i'm gonna do a demo for this piece one two and three on how to set up a text mod load up some mods also using login mode for this piece one and two because with this piece three doesn't work mostly because of the app like why they decided to change the origin in which origin did work with the text mod in the past but yeah, app not really <laughs> but yeah that'll be all so enjoy the rest of the tutorial and yeah i'll be seeing you in the next one so until then stay safe take care and have a good one and yeah i'll be signing off peace out enjoy the rest of the footage
Get the fuck off. 